Yesterday, OpenAI introduced GPT 4.5, and today it's already available for pro users on ChatGPT. But I'm not a pro user because I don't pay 200 bucks per month for uh, ChatGPT. I pay only 20. I'm a plus user. Uh, so I don't have access to that model uh, on ChatGPT. When I check here, it's not available for me, uh, but it is available over OpenAI API. And in today's video, I actually want to show you how to use GPT 4.5 through OpenAI API, and I will do it in uh, NA10 in the automation AI uh, no-code tool that I've been using in my past videos. Mm, so maybe a couple of words about uh, the model itself. Um, I'm not super excited, super hyped yet. I see the sort of breakthrough, especially for uh, scaling and supervised learning, but I don't know how it will really change the interactions uh, between humans and AI. And they say about like a better emotional intelligence uh, and they even provide the example here like uh, i'm going through a tough time after failing a test and uh, they compare the responses that in this case gpt 4.5 is trying to listen to support uh, while gpt 40 uh, is giving advice like immediately which is not the best uh, like therapy approach uh, so uh, probably it's more, it's very good for like this uh, human-like interactions. And they also decrease hallucination you know, like big time. And the accuracy of, of responses seems to be better. And I think it's becoming more concise. I, I really didn't like GPT 4.0 in many interactions. It was just uh, outputting too many words for me, quite overwhelming. But okay, that's, I guess that's enough. I mean, it is definitely an important step, but it looks to me more like a middle step for improving those reasoning models like O3. And, and they also mentioned that in a blog post. But okay, the, the idea for this video is just to show you how you can use this model, how to get access to it. And so we will need uh, NA10. So I want to show you how to do it uh, through NA10. Just go to na10.io uh, if you've never done it and click on get started for free and then log in. And there's a simple form where you have to put your name and email and you will have access to this uh, workspace. It would probably be empty for you or maybe it will be in a slightly different uh, place. Like I think it might redirect you somewhere here, like to this dashboard. And then you just need to open the, um, open the workspace, uh, your workspace. Mm, okay. And then this list also should be empty for you. So I will just show you how to create a new workflow uh, on the right. Top, on top right, there is this red button. You just press on create workflow and I will do it as simple as possible for you today. I will just add a new, uh, a trigger. So like an entry point, um, which is uh, on chat message. And that gives me the access so I can just open chat and chat here with, with the models. And then I will connect it with uh, a simple LLM. So usually when I show you automations, I use this advanced AI and AI agents, but today I won't do it. And the main reason is because the pricing of those models, uh, you can uh, like directly compare GPT 4.5 and GPT 4.0 here. So you can see that the input tokens are 30 times uh, more expensive and output tokens are 15 times uh, more expensive so the price change is pretty huge and i don't think that uh, gpt 4.5 will be much better for ai agents than gpt 4.0 unless you go for like a really really complex uh, tasks but then again i i assume 
I expect that these uh, reasoning models can be also better than GPT 4.5 for those complex AI agents. So again, uh, instead of using AI agent, I will just uh, type LLM uh, here and choose basic LLM chain. And that should be enough to, uh, to use a language model uh, as a chatbot. Okay, uh, of course it's just a chain block, so I need to connect that with a, a large language model. And uh, we will basically use OpenAI chat model. And it always wants us to create credentials. I've already got some, uh, but for this video, I will create news. So oh, you will have a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. So I press create new credentials and it's asking me for the API key. Uh, to create an API key, you have to go to the platform. Uh, uh, it was the platform, sorry, uh, platform openai.com. Mm, so this page, and then you need to log in, or if you've never used uh, OpenAI API, just sign up. Uh, and then when I press login, I just continue with Google and um, use one of my Google accounts. I'll do it now. Okay, and I'm in, and it's redirected me to this docs overview. And uh, where you have, what you have to do is usually like press, uh, click on settings here on the top right, and find API keys. But uh, here's the note: there, first, there are there's organization API keys and there's project API keys, API keys, and. Because I've already used it uh, quite a lot. I've got like many projects. You should be probably on the default project. I've created many already. Uh, but if you want, just use default project uh, or create a new project. I'm on project tutorials and I already have created uh, some uh, API keys. Uh, so uh, yours view should be different, like empty if you've never done it. I just create new secret key uh, by pressing this uh, green button and call it NA10 uh, project tutorials and create a secret key. Okay, I immediately copy it and go back to the uh, NA10. I press, I paste it and press save. And when I do it, uh, it will run a test with the API. Uh, it will just test this base URL if I get the response. And if it's successful, it means I'm actually connected. Okay, that's amazing. And that's actually it. Um, okay, and again, uh, if I press done, I will not have access to that uh, API key anymore. So ensure that you copy and paste because I don't, uh, I don't have access to it anymore. And what's important, you need uh, some credits. Uh, I've got some credits, I don't know if if you've signed up for the first time, I don't know if you get something for the start, like five or 10 bucks. Uh, when I did that like two years ago, I got 18 bucks, I think. So please let me know if it's still like, if you get something uh, when you sign up for the first time, let me know in the comments because I don't know anymore if, if that's the case. Okay, but uh, that's enough here. Let's go back to our workflow. And by default, it's connected me with GPT-40 Mini. So I just press this drop down and select GPT-4.5 Preview. And this is how I get access to GPT-4.5. And honestly, that's it. That's it. Uh, for the workflow, workflow, we don't need to do anything else. I just save it and let me just uh, use that example that uh, I've prepared. So it's very similar to that uh, from the blog post when they said, uh, I'm going through a tough time after failing a test. I've changed it a little bit. Uh, I'm going through a tough time because a super qualified lead is ghosting me. I had really high hopes on this one. So let me run it. And again, it's quite big, which means it's also slower. And GPT-40 would have given me the response already. And uh, as you can see, it was almost seven seconds and I've got the response. 
uh, here. So again, it's a kind of, you know, uh, it's uh, GPT 4.5 is showing me a lot of empathy uh, as opposed to uh, GPT 4.0 where I also run that test and it's, again, it's uh, running to give me advice immediately. It even tells me what I should uh, write to that guy. So, uh, yeah, uh, it really seems that the emotional intelligence is higher for GPT 4.0, but when it comes to the workflow, so the idea for this video, I mean, that's the simplest workflow we can actually build. And that's how we get access to GPT 4.5. So yeah, but when it comes to the workflow, that's really it. And uh, this is how you connect uh, GPT 4.5 with, uh, in, uh, with a chat. Uh, you have a chatbot uh, with GPT 4.5 and N810. And that's it. And if you have any ideas how to use it or any questions, how we could leverage that, just ask. But I don't think that's the best model for AI agents, as I mentioned. Uh, one, it's very expensive. Two, it's very slow. And I don't think it will handle more uh, tasks than the other models that we already have available. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you have access to that GPT 4.5. So let me know if you don't. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.